Okay, there's a light to remind me, sorry. Oh, okay. Does anyone want to play Luna? I'm really freaking out. Darling, the town of Lebanon is not ready for you freaking out on their Independence Day celebration. <laughs> that Independence Day aren't. Bullshit. <laughs> they can take you, they can take anything. I don't know if I'm going to do this tonight or not. You want me to talk to her? No, it is completely up to her. You're the only person who I know who can say I'm not involved in 45% of my Seven or eight. You didn't hang out the one talk to him. No, it was just the engineer checking our schedule. You haven't talked to Schwarzkopf, have you? Don't do I. Have you talked to Schwarzkopf? Everybody will be back to work tomorrow. You know the creep. Every time I leave LA, he calls the board. Last time, I was in the hospital. I was having like my sleep stuff. Oh, hard to that. Well, it's pretty much it. The son of a bitch called a meeting of the board just to stab me in the back. He better say it's back. I can't believe it. Triple Oh, Cassandra had it easy. You don't want to know. Cassandra? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Don't you wish she knew all those myths? Like, way down in some primordial place. I've got this intuition that it's all in the myths, all the answers. If we could just get it together right. It was up in Canada once. And I got this book on Eskimo folk tales. Do you think we can go now? I don't want to freak me out. The Eskimos are in Alaska. No, they're both. They're in Canada too. Did you know igloos are warm inside? I never thought about it before, but it makes sense. They got these rubber oil lamps and fur blankets and each other to keep themselves warm. And that's it. I'm sorry, I don't find it romantic at all. What's an Eskimo myth about? Uh, they're mostly about lumber. They're these very strange people. They think very differently from the way we think. I don't think I've ever been interested in Eskimos. Have you? No, I don't think I have. Hmm. There's this one story about this family, and they had their stack of caribou meat outside their igloo, frozen. But it got so cold that the whole entire winter supply of meat got frozen in one solid block of ice. And they, nobody could get at it because it was frozen. But in this like glass bitch heroic effort, this young Eskimo warrior goes out and lets out this tremendous powerful fart ah. and thaws all the meat. That is great. But it stays so bad that none of the family could eat it and they all starve to death. This isn't, I hope, the basis for one of your songs. What kind of story is that? I never heard that. Where did you hear that? I mean, what kind of story is that? That is gross. Isn't it gross? I mean, what kind of story is that? An Eskimo myth. I read it in a book. You and for an Eskimo? That isn't a folk tale, Tally. Have you ever heard a folk tale like that? Never, and I never wanted to. <laughs> it is. It's a story that's been handed down from generation to generation verbally for hundreds of years. <laughs> that isn't a folk tale because there's no. What's the moral? Exactly. There's no moral. Folk tales have morals. If there's no moral, then there's no point. They couldn't eat the meat, so they starved to death. They were starving to death before he farted on the damn caribou meat. Then the moral is there isn't a way to throw caribou meat. No one could. It couldn't happen. And even if it could, it isn't particularly beneficial. Heroic actions must have this result. Who says? It's the law of folk tales. It's the law of heroes. Saving results for hope. For everyone. Like little Dutch boy for that sake. Well, maybe these people are a little more realistic than the Dutch or the Greek. It isn't realistic. It couldn't happen. And it's gross. And if it could happen, <laughs> <laughs> we have to learn from the Kuma folk tale. Oh, that's the same. But for the sake of argument, we learned that there is no way to throw a caribou meat. Who cares how to throw a caribou meat? The Eskimos do. It's a stable diet. We're certifiable. You know that? Said it was an alien mind. This is the sort of thing you read on your own time. Where did you find him anyway? Skip it. No, you brought it up. I think it's very interesting. I mean, the story is ridiculous, but the fact that you read it, I find very interesting. And we're saying this. Skip it. You guys obviously, obviously don't have the sensitivity to appreciate. I thought it was a funny story that's been handed down from generations. I didn't find it funny at all. I see it as a tragedy. The entire family is still starving. They were dying already. That's what I said. It's a pointless, vulgar, scatological. scatological story. I only thought it was an interesting story because it was from a completely different culture. What? That isn't culture. That's hardship. No, it's culture. 
They call themselves the people, and everybody else the other people. <laughs> well, every people call themselves the people, and everyone else the yeah. other people. They have 50 different words for snow. Don't you think that shows subtle lines? Well, of course they have 50 different words for snow. Their winters are 14 months long. That's all they have to talk about. Snow is all there is. The Bedouins probably have 50 different words for sand. They probably do. <laughs> and they're very interesting people. They call themselves the people. 